Hello and welcome to Shannon Gardens. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So today I wanted to take you guys on a little tour of my gardening tools that I use regularly. I carry in my gardening bag every time I garden and I have just found are quite useful and I thought that sharing that might be helpful to you guys as well. I may have some tools that maybe you don't have or that you haven't thought of before and so I wanted to share that with you guys. Now I do want to say too that if there are any tools that I miss in this video or that something that you guys use and that has been very handy for you, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section because I would love to hear what you guys find useful as well. Now, before I begin, I definitely wanted to state too that I am not being sponsored in any way or receiving commission from any of these companies that I'm mentioning today or the different uh, manufacturers of the tools. Um, these are just tools that I have used for the most part for years. A couple of them are newer that I found I have greatly improved my gardening. So uh, I wanted to share those as well, but I am in no way receiving any kind of commissions or sponsorship for these. These are just my opinions and uh, what I have found useful in gardening. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and take a look in the gardening bag and I'll show you guys what I have. First, I wanted to point out that there are a couple of things that I look for when I am looking at gardening tools. So one of the first things that I'm looking for when I am looking for gardening tools is for a nice handle that has some cushioning and maybe an ergonomic design just to help against fatigue and the the comfort when gardening and then also I'm looking for a material that is rust resistant which I imagine a lot of the materials are but that's something I definitely keep my eye out for because you are spending money on these tools and you want them to last as long as possible so those are a couple of things I really keep my eye out for when I am shopping for my tools. So first I thought that I would start with more of the pruning type of tools. Um, first, I just have my basic pruners here. Um, these are Fiskars and it's just Fisker pruners. Um, they do have the uh, ergonomic and cushion design here. They have a locking mechanism here so that your blade is locked and isn't wide open and then you can just open it. And uh, these are just great. I use them all the time for deadheading, uh, for cutting smaller branches and stems. And this is just a go-to tool for me, just regular pruners. So really like these. I've had them for years. You can probably tell they're a little dirty. So I imagine I need to clean them up. One thing that I did want to point out on this one specifically is it has a groove here that helps collect saps so that the blades themselves don't remain and get so sticky. So that's just helpful in the design of these pruners and something that you may want to keep an eye out for when you're looking for pruners as well. So I'm going to lock these up and put them away. All right, so for the bigger projects, like the bigger branches and maybe some tree limbs and things like that, this is called From Fiskars again. So this is their name for it, which is the Power Gear Super pruner lopper. So you can see here it's got the bigger mouth so it can cut bigger branches and stems as compared to just my regular pruner. And uh, this has been a very useful tool as well and something that I definitely carry around with me um, to use in the garden because I'm always pruning and trimming and things like that and trying to shape things the way that I want them. So this works out great. So next I have these pruning snips and it's got a little pull down here where you can open and close. You can lock it closed and then open them. And these are really great for those really small spots where you're trying to do some precise pruning um, and really get in between different stems. These work out quite nicely. And so I also carry these with me as well. And these are actually newer. This is something that I didn't have for a long time. So, uh, I, but I found very useful. I'm very glad that I did make this purchase. So this is another one. And then it has the safety cap right here. Next, I have my multi-purpose gardening shears. So I will take that off there. And this, I really just use to cut open bags. I can uh, use it to cut tape, you know, whatever you need. They are multi-purpose. Um, you can actually remove it and just use one if you need a, more of a knife or a blade. But these come in very handy as well. And, um, and I wasn't quite sure if I was going to use them, to be honest with you, when I first got them because I tended to use my pruners to open bags and things like that. 
but these have come in quite handy. So I actually am glad that I have them. And one other thing that I wanted to share is it has its own sharpener right here on the handle and on the protective cover. So that is handy as well. And you can sharpen these blades using this sharpener. All right, so next is the cultivator. Now I have had these for years. I have had a few different kinds. Um, this one is my favorite and this is Fiskars. Um, it has that ergonomic and comfort design on the end. And these have come in very, very handy. I use these to move pine straw or mulch if I'm planting something or if I just need to move it and dig up a weed or whatever. Um, I use these to aerate. I use these to work the soil, particularly when I'm adding uh, fertilizer into the soil, then I will place it at the top on already established plants and then kind of work it in using this tool. This has been a great tool. It is something that I use all the time. So it's come in very, very handy as well. And let me show you guys. That is what it looks like. And you can see it has these pointed ends here to help you work in the soil and really get in there. So next is this transplanter. Now this is a really cool tool, particularly when I am looking to get into a smaller space. You can see that the width of this piece right here is not as big as a trowel and particularly, or a shovel. And so I can get into smaller spaces with this. Again, it's got the ergonomic and cushion design on the bottom. And then it's got the thinner blade here, a pointed end, but what's really great about this too is it has measurements actually let me turn it this way it's got measurements on the blade so this has been very useful for me when i am planting bulbs um, and i need to look at how far down to plant them i'm not always great at just guessing so this comes in very handy for me it also comes in handy when i am pulling up weeds or anything and i'm trying to get into a tighter space uh, this allows me to do that and really get under the weed where i can pull out those roots so i'm very happy with this purchase it is something that i do use often and then we have my trowel now i imagine that most people have these in their gardening i can't imagine gardening without one um, this is just a standard hand shovel or trowel and it's got the pointed end here so it can really get into the soil ergonomic cushion design and this is used for everything. I use this to plant my plants in the soil. I use it to pull up plants, to remove them or to transplant them. And I also use this for weeding as well to get under those weeds to make sure that I'm getting all the roots when I'm pulling those weeds up because there's nothing worse than leaving the roots and then having the weed just pop up a week or two later. Hey, you guys, this has to be one of my favorite new tools. And I will tell you why. This is a planting mattock, and this has been a godsend for me. Um, here in Georgia, we have red clay as our soil. And so if I have unworked soil, then it is extremely difficult for me to dig in. And this thing has worked so well in getting in that soil and digging it out. If you have difficult soil and you are trying to work difficult soil, I would suggest trying this out and getting one of these because it has really, really worked out for me. It also is great in getting underneath plants if you're going to remove them, particularly if you have a dead plant, which unfortunately uh, we all we all do from time to time, which is very unfortunate, but it does happen. So this is helpful in the removal of plants as well. So I love this. This has been a great, great find for me. And I wish I had it years ago. Now, of course, no gardening kit would be complete without your gardening gloves. Um, I just get these. These are regular multi-purpose gardening gloves. I actually get these from Costco in a big pack. They do have a protective coating here on the inside, which does help protect your hands. But I will say that these are not great for roses or any kind of thorny bushes. I have to be very careful when I'm wearing these, when I'm pruning roses or working with my rose bushes at all, because I have had thorns get through them. So my plan this year is actually to get good, heavier duty rose pruning gloves and also the rose sleeves. I don't know if you guys have seen those, but there are some sleeves that you can get that protect your arms as well. And that is on my to-do list for 
for this year. So once I do that and try them out, I'll be sure to let you guys know how those work out as well. But in the interim, I have my multi-purpose gloves and um, these are just great for everyday gardening. Now, something that I use very often is gardening tape, which I'll show you guys that here. And then my gardening stakes, this is a bamboo stake here, but I've got lots of different kinds. Sometimes, honestly, if I find a sturdy stick in the woods, I'll use that. I try to really use what I have and what I find around, but I do have these bamboo stakes as well. I use them all the time because as you guys probably know, in the summer, your plants can get really big. Sometimes they want to fall over and it's great to have your stakes and your gardening tape to tape them up. Now the gardening tape has been really useful. I have had this for quite some time, this roll. And let me show you guys the inside of this particular kind. And I have to be honest, I don't even know where I got it, but I see it on Amazon. You can find it pretty much anywhere. But this kind has a softer inside, so it's not gonna damage your plant when you are looking to uh, wrap it around your plants. It's not gonna damage the stems. So you simply just wrap it around and it acts a lot like Velcro. And as you can see, it just is fastened right there and you can attach it to your stake and it stays put. I haven't had any problems with these falling off and it says it's reusable. So I have reused mine a couple of times, but generally I prefer to get a new piece and it's so small. I mean, this just lasts quite some time, at least for me. So I really love my gardening tape. If you guys have watched any previous videos, then you'll have noticed that I really, really like using plant stakes. This is a stainless steel plant stake. I got these off of Amazon. It comes with these little labels and a little marker so you can write what's on there. And these have been uh, something that I wish I had used years ago again. Uh, I have a tendency to plant plants and forget where I planted them. And so when they come up in the spring, I think that they're weeds. I forgot that I planted something there and I have pulled plants before, uh, thinking it was a weed. So I decided a while back that I would do a diagram of my garden. But in addition to that, I would also use these plant stakes, mark my newer plants so that I will not make that mistake because it certainly is sad after you planted something new to only realize that you pulled it and you mistook it for a weed. So nobody wants to throw out a good plant. So these have been great. If you guys struggle with that problem too, I would suggest these. So I have this, which is a kneeling pad. This works out very, very well for me. It's pretty thick. I would say probably uh, a little over an inch. And this works out very nicely when I'm planting. Uh, I have a lot of rocks in specific areas and this helps protect my knees. It also helps protect my knees when I'm working on the pavement and I'm leaning over to plant in a garden area. So this helps protect as well and just add some comfort. It's not very much and it's well worth it to me. So I have my kneeling pad here. And I also have a garden, my garden tote or organizer, which holds everything. Now I want to show you guys the difference between an old gardening tote that I had and my new one. So this is an older one and you can see it's nice. It's got pockets, it's got the handheld straps and it's got plenty of room on the inside. But what it didn't have was something to stabilize it when it was actually sitting on the ground. So what would happen is once I put my tools in here, it would just fall over. So my tools would be all over the place. So with my new bag, I will show you guys, it has a stability rod through the inside and that really helps keep it upright no matter what tools I have in there. I haven't had it tip yet and, um, and it's been great. So for me in the future, anytime that I'm gonna be looking for a gardening bag, I'm going to look for something that stabilizes it so I can make sure that when I have my heavier tools in there, which most of the time I do, that it's going to stay in an upright position and not fall over and dump everything out. So I'll show you guys my bag and what I really like about it. 
All right, so I wanted to show you guys a close-up of my garden tote bag and organizer and just point out a couple of things I really like about it. As you can see, it's got plenty of pockets that goes all the way around the organizer and in the inside as well. And they have these safety straps here, which help to keep the tools in place, both again on the outside and the inside. Now, if we look inside, you can see that metal bar at the bottom. That's really what's helping keep it upright. And there's also a metal bar in here at the top underneath the material. So it's really helping to keep everything in place. One thing that I did want to point out that I forgot to mention during uh, the other part of the video is that I have a blade sharpener as well. And this is something that I use just to sharpen my blades and keep them performing at their best. So that was another thing that I did want to mention that I do have in my bag as well and I try to keep up with with regard to my tools. And that's what it looks like without the safety caps. I have my Gorilla dump cart. Now I don't know about you guys but I've found traditional wheelbarrows to be just unwieldy and difficult to manage but this has been a game changer. I got it a little over a year ago from my family and it has just made my gardening life a lot easier. So I wanted to show you guys just a few things that really uh, stand out to me with this cart that I really really enjoy and the first thing I'll point out are these pretty big rugged tires here and they just tend to go over a lot of items really easily. It also is pretty high here as well. So just I can get over my little rocks that I have in my garden and it really makes it quite easy to navigate. Now another thing is the bed itself is made out of a washable material and although you can tell that this is very well used and I have not washed it, but you can wash it. It's also got a zero turn turning radius so you can really turn in tight corners um, as you're going through your garden. And so it just makes it easier again to navigate through the garden. That also right here has this handle that you just lift up and you can fully dump whatever it is that you have in the bed. So that's just another feature. It will fully dump out there. And so I've put soil and mulch in there and have had no problem getting it out, whereas the wheelbarrow was a bit more difficult, again, for me to manage. One other thing that I did want to point out is that this can also, in addition to being just pulled behind you, it can also be towed by an ATV or by your lawnmower. Now that's not something that I've done yet. I just pull it behind me and drag it around, but that is something you can do if you are so inclined. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really enjoyed going through the tool bag and showing you guys what I use and find most useful in gardening. And please, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you guys have any suggestions or any tools that you really find useful as well, please make sure to leave that in the comments because I would love to take a look and maybe adding some more tools to my collection. So thank you guys so much again. Please make sure to like and subscribe and until next time, happy gardening and goodbye.